Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips. This time I want to show you the filter options in some sheets. The filter options we have are especially useful in some bigger sheets, like the patch sheet for example. You know when you patch some fixtures it can be a lot of information which is put in one sheet. Therefore we have the new filter options at the title bar here. Let's switch on the filter for the patch sheet for example and you can see that we can filter by every column. So in each column we can set a filter condition to filter our patch, so what we want to see at this moment. One of the easiest possibilities is of course to filter by the fixture ID. So I go to the fixture ID column and I type in 401 through 412 for example only to see my fixtures 401 through 412. Of course, this includes the grouping fixture as well, because we always want to keep in mind our tree structure in the patch. When we want to get rid of our filter, we just have a look at the title bar again to use the symbol left to the on off switch, where we can get rid of our filter option and we have the whole patch back again. Another example is filtering by the ID type. So we go to the ID type column in the filter option here, and then we can select an ID type directly here. So, for example, I only want to see my channels in my patch. Let's get rid of this again and have a look at another nice option. Of course, we can also filter by the DMX patch address. So I go in here and I type in 1.1 through 1.512 to only see my fixtures which are placed in the first DMX universe. Of course, the filter can also help you when you assign layers and classes to your fixtures then it's very easy to filter by the layers and classes directly here. But one more example I like a lot is to filter by the positions. So for example, I only want to see my fixtures which are placed on the floor of my stage. So I can filter by the Z position, which is zero. And I only see my X4 bars which are placed at the floor of my stage. When you scroll to the right, you can see that we have many more filter options. So all columns which are used in the patch can be filtered with those filter options. But we have those filters available also in other sheets, for example, the layout view. Let's have a look at the layout view and the layout pool. When we edit a layout pool object to get a list of all our objects in the layout view, you can see that the filters are placed here as well. So we can filter again by every column also in this edit layout sheet. So what could be really helpful, of course, is to filter by the assign type. So I only want to see my groups, for example, I placed in that layout to give a different border size or a different position for all of the groups. There are many more things to experience with those filter options in the sheets. I hope this is helpful for you. Stay tuned and see you next time for the MA Tips.